In this tutorial, we will see how to use your virtual set and reuse your virtual set with Relens. We will be using two lat longs specifically for these examples. You can watch the overview tutorial first to be familiar with this virtual set and its elements. We're going to start by showing how to build a comp using your virtual set and Relens two lat long, and then we'll see how to reuse a set and adjust all the components. Let's begin by seeing how to build a comp using your virtual set in Relens. First, we have a background that we want to use. We have added that to our comp and we can add our virtual set next. We have the set rendered at different heights so it works with different 360 video backgrounds. We can then simply choose which height we want to use by forwarding frames since each frame has the set rendered at a different height. So depending on what height your rig was at, you can choose the height that works for the point of view you want. In this case, I want to be able to see the background through the window in a certain place. I want to be able to see the guy with the backpack through the window. So I will advance through the frames till I find the frame where the set is at the proper height and the ground levels match. This is frame 15, so now I can import frame 15 into my comp. We put this virtual set layer above our background and now the fun begins. We'll add relens to that long to our virtual set layer. And in the effect controls, we will set the output size to set to comp size. Next we go to the longitude parameter and reposition the set horizontally to where we visually think it should go in the scene. I'm going to leave it here at 34. Now we will turn the visibility on for these other layers we used previously in our first example. And you can see that I have these people and a dog. They started out as just green screens that I keyed and are now each their own layer that will reposition according to each set. As you'll notice, they are all in particular positions right now. So that is what we would see if we were just reusing a virtual set and we would just reposition them for the new set. We'll get to that in a minute. First, I want to show you how we would build this from scratch. We can put the set back at longitude zero to begin. One thing you might notice is that the interactivity is a little slow. So I'm going to set the comp size to 2048 by 1024 instead of 4096 by 2048. So it's more interactive for this tutorial. I'll reset to 4K for the render. If Relens is set to output comp size, all will work just as long as the comp size is the same aspect ratio. We can start with this Yogi Girl and first reset all her parameters since we're going to start from scratch. We can uh, start by adjusting their size by going to the focal length and we can make it five just so you can see the difference. It's really small, so we can make it one now to see that it's really big. So you'll play with that focal length till you get it just right to the eye. And remember that number so we can apply it to the rest of the foreground layers as we get to them. I can go to the latitude control and position her where I visually want her to be on the new set. Just notice that this is not like regular 2D comp. You can see that we are compositing in true 360 degree like a globe. If we were to just normally composite these layers, they would look all distorted when you watch it. Now I can go to the longitude control and do the same thing. This is how we would do the positioning for each layer when we're starting a new comp. If we are reusing a set and need to just reposition the layers, we would go about it in a different way. Starting with the Yogi Girl again. Originally she was at minus 5.5 and now she's at minus 2.0. So everything has to go up plus 3.5 from its current position to match the set because the original positions were designed for another set height. We can go to each layer and change the latitude to plus 3.5 of its current position and then they should all match the new set for the height. So let's take the next layer, the dog, which is currently minus 16.0 for latitude it becomes minus 12.5. Bizman 1 was 
minus 5.5 and becomes minus 2.0. Bisman 2 plus 3 was minus 5.25 and becomes minus 1.75. The last one is the girl again, and she was at minus 7.0, and now it's minus 3.5. Now we want to reposition the latitude of everything. We go back to the newsroom layer, which is our 360 degree virtual set. We're going to reposition the latitude to 34.0 because that was where we visually placed it at the beginning. So we go back through now and add 34 in latitude to all these layers that we just adjusted the longitude for. Are you getting the picture? No, you could do all of this with expressions, but we're just going through the motions here to show you what needs to happen. You can use any method you want to get to that point. So starting from the top again with the first girl loop, now we're looking at the longitude and we have uh, 196.0. So we'll add plus 34, so it will be 230.0 now. Note, you will now apply this same formula to the rest of the layers. We can also manually move the layers instead if we want to do so instead of plugging in that formula. It's just an option. Once you've placed your foreground elements where you want them when you're reusing a set, you may notice that their size may not be correct. You can adjust their size by going to the focal length like we did on the one that we created from scratch and play with that focal length until you get it just right to the eye and then apply it to the rest of the foreground layers. Now one sure way to see how our results will look if you were to view it in a 360 viewer is to drop this comp into another comp. We can set this other comp to 1920 by 1080 and apply relens from that long and set output size to set comp size as well. You can now get a better idea of how it will look in a 360 viewer and confirm that it's good using from lat long because the further away that you are from the center horizontal line, the more of what you look at is distorted. It will look bigger than it actually is. What you're seeing with from lat long is not the equirectangular image. Now you're seeing a projected version of a section of it as if it was in your 360 viewer.